Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making bananas foster. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need brown sugar, rum, butter, a little bit of cinnamon, and of course, bananas. This is all to complement delicious ice cream, so grab some of that, and you'll be making this in a big pan. So first off, we're gonna grab some brown sugar. I want three quarters of a cup packed brown sugar. It's 165 grams, but I'm using my measuring cup today. So this recipe comes from New Orleans. And uh, in case you're wondering, it was named after Richard Foster. He did not invent the recipe. He was friends with the inventors, uh, Owen and Ella Brennan. And it actually, it was like a variation on Ella's mom's recipe. We're gonna take this brown sugar and crumble it in. And if you're wondering like why New Orleans for bananas, it's because the bananas were imported from South America to New Orleans as a major shipping hub, thanks to the Mississippi. It's my end of the lesson. <laughs> we're adding half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon in here. So this recipe is super easy. However, I will tell you, you need to have everything out first. So if you're like trying to find something while this is cooking or cooling, it's not gonna go right. Make sure you measure out mm, a third of a cup of rum. The rum is like the key thing in here. So I recommend using a spice drum. All right, the last thing we need for this pan is butter, half a cup, and I'm gonna cut it up into pieces just because sometimes um, if you overcook the brown sugar, this takes a turn for the worst. And it separates, it just gets too hot, and um, you want everything to combine over a lower temperature. I learned this the hard way on many a brown sugar butter situation where things just got too hot and it separated, and you're like, ah. Oh. Why? So this is ready, this is ready. We're gonna put this over medium heat and just keep an eye on it and stir, stir, stir. Also, the last thing I need you to have is a lighter. You need a lighter, because that's the part where I've gone wrong. It's like, oh my gosh, where's my lighter? And I realized that I don't have a lighter, so I will be using, I'll be using a kitchen torch. Yeah, which should work just fine. Now that we're all prepared, we can start our bananas foster onto the stove. Wait, 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 wait. The bananas foster also needs bananas. <laughs> what was I thinking? We need three larger bananas and we're gonna give them a slice. You want larger bananas if possible on a little bit the firmer side. If they're kind of soft, they're gonna fall apart and we're just gonna cut them lengthwise. So, there we go. Sliced and ready to go. Now we're gonna take this and put this over heat. So I'm setting this over medium high heat for most of you, but this stove runs really hot, it's crazy flames. So I'm going down to medium, medium low actually, right? We're gonna cook this over that heat, stirring frequently, the butter's gonna melt and it's gonna get nice and bubbly. But just keep it moving and if your butter was room temperature or you cut it into small pieces, I think it just helps the whole process along. Oh my gosh, butter and brown sugar. It's like they're a match made in heaven. And when you add the rum in, it's amazing. By the way, like if you're watching this video and you don't like bananas, I understand some people just don't like them. You can still use this caramel on top of ice cream and it's heavenly. All right, so this is bubbling. It's come together. That was really quick. Now we're gonna add our bananas in. Bananas go in and we're gonna cook these until they're tender, but do not like be rough with your bananas because ideally they're gonna stay in one piece. If they break, it's fine though. And here I'm reducing my heat just a little bit. So this caramel is incredibly hot, watch your fingers. The nice thing is though, is gonna cook the bananas and just make them tender and really bring out more of their sweetness. And you can definitely flip these bananas over so they cook evenly too. So carefully and deftly flip them over or just spoon more caramel on top, that works too. Um, and you'll be cooking this for about four minutes, so just make sure you keep stirring, keep moving the bananas around. Ooh, I flipped one over. And already they're softening up, so it's only been a couple minutes and they're changing color, they're kind of that like, kind of, mm, delicious banana look. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make a banana playlist. This is gonna go in that, just decided, just decided. Because there's this, the banana's pudding, a banana cream pie, and now banana's foster. Perfect banana trio. 
and banana bread. This smells so good right now. I really hope you're gonna make this recipe. It's like very dramatic when you uh, light the, the rum on fire and it just adds a beautiful depth of flavor to the dish. Okay, this is looking good. I just broke one of my bananas, so I know they're getting tender. Remove this from heat. You wanna make sure that the fire is off. That's important. Wish me luck. We're gonna pour the rum on top and light it on fire. Ready? <laughs> Let it warm up for just a second. Okay, now you're flumbing it all up. It cooks off pretty quickly. Look at that. That is what you want. Mmm, it really changed the texture and everything. Just like that, once the alcohol cooks off, all you're left with is that delicious flavor. Grab some ice cream, scoop it up, let's make it happen. Okay, I'm so excited. Now we're gonna grab a scoop. This is heaven with ice cream. This ice cream is like a rock. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my magical ice cream scoop that's like cuts through ice cream like it was warm butter. <laughs> These bananas are huge, so I'm actually gonna add them just like that. halves of bananas today. Take that caramel and ladle it over liberally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna be everyone's new best friend, if you weren't already. Okay, I'm gonna fully tuck into this. You need to make this recipe too, though. That is really good. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my banana playlist.